Good morning and welcome. It's good to see you all this morning. I'll begin with whose hammer is this? Okay, I'll take care of it. Yeah, well, you never know what the, the day is going to hold. Uh, if you have your bulletins with you, I have a couple of announcements before we get started with worship. Um, it's great to see you today. I know that we're at the front end of spring break, and so that brings all kinds of opportunities. So I see some people that maybe we wouldn't normally see, and I see some spots that are normally filled. So it's, it's good to gather together today to worship. Um, first thing in your bulletin, uh, Salt Ladies, uh, Dory is hosting a coffee tomorrow at her new home. Dory, directions to your house. Where are you at? There she is. Go right east of the old house, kind of down. There's a driveway there. Stay to the west, right? Otherwise, you'll see Susan and Tim's new spot. All right. All right, so... So when you go to Dory's, make sure you don't go to her where she used to live, but go down the road just a little bit uh, to the east, and then you're going to head back south and, again, veer west on that uh, lane. Uh, I will be out of the office some this week, so if there's anything that you need, please contact Stenson Miller or one of the other elders. Also, uh, our T-shirt contest. After we got done with our members meeting, Heidi Miller said, hey, let me rework some of these and sharpen some of the pencil drawings up. And so we have those, but we don't have them rolled out just yet. So bear with us. We'll get those out next week. I've got a number of people who have asked for time for announcements. So if Blair and Krisha want to come on up. Which, which announcement was yours? I'm so sorry. I'm glad, Krisha, I didn't cover yours. Um, we just wanted to say thank you uh, for all the food that you guys brought last week to the potluck. We had a little bit come in afterwards. Our grand total was 710 pounds of food that went to the Food and Resource Center. And we wanted you guys to know it all went directly on the shelves. There is nothing in the storage room right now. So there is a very large need there. Um, so through some talking of some of us, we've decided that on the odd months when we have potluck, we will be trying this. So we will get you a list a couple weeks before potluck on odd months, so not April, but May would be our next one, a list of their specific needs. That doesn't mean that's all you can bring. So if you don't have those items at home or you don't get to the grocery store, that's fine. You can grab stuff out of your pantry. They'll use everything. But we just wanted to say thank you guys so much. It's a huge need, and I know the people appreciate it. Krisha, I'm, I'm uh -huh. a little challenged odd and even sometimes. Is there any reason we couldn't do it on every potluck? Are you all up for that? Because we don't, we don't have potlucks every month. Sure, yeah, OK. OK, awesome. So our next potluck is April 21st, so be watching for what you can bring to that one. We'll let you guys know. But thank you guys so much. We appreciate you. Okay, thank you, Krisha. Um, also wanted you just to be mindful that we've got our youth group, or some of our youth group is in Branson. Um, so be praying for them this week um, and for their sponsors, uh, Monica and Andrew, as uh, they kind of give some leadership and some guidance there to that time. We hope that it's a good time, a learning time, an opportunity for them to enjoy being together. Erica, come on up. All right, I have a lot of information, but it's gonna go fast, so don't worry, we're gonna go over it again um, later. So the first thing is just Stay in the Country is coming up. I know y'all think I'm crazy because it's March, but it's gonna be in November. So November 9th is the tentative day. If you guys have an issue with that, it's church-wide issue, please let me know ASAP. Um, so right now it's gonna be from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. We're gonna be at Pleasant View. Um, they'll be outside and in the fellowship hall. Um, so we have some activities that we've done in the past. Cornhole and horseshoe tournament, pedal tractor pulled by Travis and Allie, touch a tractor by Seth and Julie, the barrel train, 
baked goods and craft sales, jams and jellies, the silent auction, and I have three new things. So the first one is an old car and antique tractor display. Uh, Tanya Martin is in charge of finding old cars. So if you have an old car or an old tractor or an old combine or anything you think is cool, talk to Tanya and she is going to make arrangements to get it here. If it doesn't drive, that's okay. We just wanna pull it up here and park it so people can look at it. Okay, show of hands, who knows what I mean when I say Bob Ross? Okay, so like a quarter of you. Okay, Bob Ross is the guy that does the paintings. It's like really soothing and he did it on TV for a long time. Yeah, he had a big afro. Okay, anyways, so what I saw on Pinterest was somebody did like a lead painting, but I thought it would be fun to do it on pumpkins. So if we could get some pumpkins donated, maybe triple S, then we could, um, <laughs> then we could have somebody lead um, a pumpkin painting. And the last thing is a petting zoo, which Hannah and Nathan said that they're up for, but they need some help with cattle panels and getting some little pins, so if you guys have pins or panels, we can start talking about that too. Um, continuing, there's a, the day plan right now is at 10 o'clock we're gonna start. The outside activities will begin, the silent auction will open, and the bake and craft sale opens. And that'll run all day until we're out of everything. At noon and 1.30 is when we'll have lunch. Um, at three o'clock the silent auction will end just so we have time to get everybody's stuff loaded and help them if we have big items. And at four o'clock is the end of the day. We're gonna wrap up, clean up, and head home. So I'd really appreciate you guys helping us clean up before we go home. So there'll be a lot of stuff going on. All right, some monetary things. I had Delvin do some research for me and over the past 20 years, we've averaged roughly $12,000 um, for each day in the country. Last, the last time we did it, we raised $21,000. So um, that was really good. Last year, the money went to HIA in Branch 15. Um, in the past, though, for most of the day in the countries, the money has gone toward building funds. So like for building the fellowship hall, building this, all the things like that. Um, you guys, when I read your little reports, you decided that we're gonna do a split donation. Almost all of you said that the kitchen remodel was something you were interested in the money going towards. So we're gonna do half kitchen model and half a local mission of choice. So you guys all said missions. No one gave me any specific direction. So we're gonna go with a mission and I've talked to Tanya a little bit and we're gonna let the missions committee choose a Weatherford Hydro somewhere local mission for the money to go towards. We're going to wait until closer to see if there's anyone who's in specific need at that time and that's what the other half of the money will go for. So our goal for this year is $15,000, and I think we can do it, no problem. Okay, so for advertisement, my plan is to have the basic flyers. I'll make those and get them around to you guys, the business owners and people who live in different towns so you can hang them up in businesses. A new thing I wanna try this year is putting a advertisement on the coyote so that more people in town can hear that and then also putting it in the newspapers. The newspapers I have listed are up there. If you guys think of any different newspapers, please let me know. And then the last thing is just how you can help uh, volunteer. I need a lot of volunteers. Um, so please, please, please volunteer. I will hunt you down if you don't volunteer. Um, we can run a booth, bake items, make crafts, set up, tear down, we need all that help. Um, another thing we're gonna try is work nights. So I talked to Kyle a little bit and I'm going to move on to talking to CEC because Wednesday nights are over for right now but we don't know what we're doing next semester. So we're going to try to do some noodle making nights. Um, I'm sure y'all remember making noodles. I do from when I was little. So we can get that going and get those for people to buy. Those are a really big thing people want to buy when they come to Day in the Country. Um, you can start now praying that the missions committee will choose the mission that is the most in need of our support. And finally, spread the word. So maybe not right now, but when we get closer to the fall, tell your friends, your family, and even strangers to come to Pleasant View. Thank you. Thank you, Erica. Erica is leading the charge for Day in the Country, and I appreciate your enthusiasm, right? And we will look forward to hearing more of what you just said at a, maybe a slower rate so I can digest it better next time. <laughs> I did tell you to go fast, and you did a great job. Kent, will you call us to worship?
Well, good morning again. It's good to see you here all this morning. Um, a number of years ago, a very popular book was The Pur Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren. And I remember reading that book, and the opening line to the book was, it's not about you. And we live in a world that I think stresses or encourages self-satisfaction, self-fulfillment, and I think it's easy for us to get caught up in that. And this morning I'm going to be reading from Psalms 95, hopefully answers the question on why are we here. Psalm 95, verses 1 through 7. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great king above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth and the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Lord, we just thank you for this opportunity we have to come together this morning as a body of believers. Lord, we ask that you would just let us focus this morning on worshiping you, the creator and sustainer of all things. These things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. As we continue to worship this morning, I invite you to stand if you're able as we sing All the Way My Savior Leads Me.
Join with me in prayer. Praise awaits you, O God in Zion. To you our vows will be fulfilled. O you who hear prayer, to you all men will come. When we were, when we were overwhelmed by sins, you forgave our transgressions. Blessed are those you choose and bring near to live in your courts. We are filled with the good things of your house, of your holy temple. You answer us with awesome deeds of righteousness, O God our Savior, the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas, who formed the mountains by your power, having armed yourself with strength, who stilled the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the turmoil of the nations. Those living far away fear your wonders. Your morning dawns and evening fades. You call forth songs of joy. Lord, today we are joyful and we praise you, the one and only true God. We come to you in prayer because you are worthy of our praise and thanks. You alone can hear our prayer and do mighty things. You love us and you have redeemed us through the blood of your only son, Jesus, our Savior and friend. Lord, we love you. Father, forgive us for our many sins and bring us close to you and your will for us through the guidance of your Holy Spirit. Lead this church body in unity and love for each other and give us the power and ability to show that love in our community and in our homes. Lord, be with our elders. Be with Michael and Stinson, Carl, Kent, and Tony and their families. Give them wisdom to lead us and bless them for that service. Bless Pastor Jeff and Dana and their family for their faithful service here and encourage them. Lord, help us to be the hands and feet of Christ to others through the different ministries we are involved with, both locally and around the world. God, we ask for your comfort, strength, and healing power for those among us who are recovering from surgery undergoing treatment or dealing with ongoing health issues. And we lift up our expectant mothers and their babies for your protection and care. Lord, we pray for those who are a part of us but cannot be here today and ask that your word of encouragement would come to Bertha, Marjorie, Vernon, Warren, and Wallace. Pray that you'd be with those who are traveling for spring break and the, our youth who are away from us today. Heavenly Father, as we go through the service this morning, as we hear what you are doing for and through your people around the world, as we hear from your word, as we fellowship with one another, may we be strengthened and equipped to go out and bring the hope of the gospel to others. You do indeed answer us with awesome deeds of righteousness, O God our Savior. Amen. Well, this morning we're blessed. Uh, a number of weeks ago, I got an email from uh, Bonnie Yoder, and she was telling me that, hey, we're going to be in Kansas, and while we're in the area, right, and that Kansas isn't in the area so much for us, but if you're coming from New Mexico, it's in the area. Um, so they're here today, so I would like to invite them to come up and tell us a little bit about some of the exciting things that is happening as a part of their ministry. So please, come. Yeah, we were in the area, so we wanted to come and give everybody an update here. Uh, for us, you know, it, driving 40 miles is like going down to the corner gas station, so it's not that big deal. So, um, no, it uh, it's been a long journey. Uh, you all been a part of it over these past few years. Uh, for me, it's been you know almost 34 years now that God first planted the idea in my head, and uh, when COVID hit, it kind of shut us down, and it was. It's kind of God saying, okay, it's time to go out. So we spent the last three years, probably maybe a little bit longer than that, just searching for property. And uh, you've all been part of it. We've been here a couple of times to share with that. And uh, 
just like in any journey God takes you on, there are times where you may not feel God's doing anything or you may not sense him doing anything. And that's kind of the way it was last year. We were both trying to stay busy, but it just didn't seem like anything was going to happen. And we literally got to that point just before Thanksgiving that we told God, okay, it, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And we're okay with that. And uh, we were ready to, you know, if it was God's desire and will, we was going to pack things up. Well, then all of a sudden, right after Thanksgiving, we went to look at a piece of property that, and I wasn't really excited about because we'd been doing it for so long. And God began to open up and show. I mean, it was it was a really nice, nice place. And uh, we prayed about it, talked about it, talked with our board. And we made an offer on the property. And from the time we made an offer to the time we had the keys in our hands was just a little over two months. We ain't even moved in the place yet. I mean, we got the keys about three weeks ago, and we've been on the road for a week. So we just wanted to update you. God has, he has been and gracious it's beyond anything we could have imagined uh the house is amazing it's got a 40 by 40 uh shop that you know overhead door you could back an rv into it it's, it's insulated that'll be kind of my playground uh it's got a horse barn on it and it's just shy of 11 acres uh but uh, we're excited with what god has done like i said we're it's been a long journey to this point uh and uh we just wanted to share about what God has done. We're really excited about what God's going to do next. Because it's 18 and a half years ago when we moved out there, uh, I just wanted to see God move a mountain. And I'll say right now, he moved Mount Everest for us. So we're excited to see. But we just wanted to give you all an update. So thank you. Well, I'd, I'd like you to go just a bit further. Explain oh. what it is, what your ministry is. Oh, okay. Just remind us. Yeah, yeah. I you forget, right in. I forget that before, song. I get it. Just remind us. We forget. Uh, prior, we were running a 90-day uh, recovery program for substance abuse for men. It was residential. This now will be a six-month. They'll be with us for six months. And we're looking to work with anywhere between 15 and 20 guys a year. But we want to put solar on the property, raise livestock, greenhouse growing, so along with their, their recovery program, they're going to be learning these skills as well. And something I told to some of the cowboys up in Kansas, we use the word ranch liberally. It's just shy of 11 acres. They call it a ranch yet. So. But, uh, but yeah, it's, we're, uh, we're excited about it uh, moving forward. And like I said, we get home and uh, we'll hit the ground running. But uh, uh, we got information out there uh, and we're, Free to, to answer any questions anybody has out there after the service, but thank you. Okay, good. Just a reminder, uh, please check out their, their table. Um, they are on the approved giving list, so it's BIC Overcomers. So if you would like to give to help support the ministry, you can certainly do that. There's uh, lots of lists of things where you could be involved personally with some building projects or give financially to those things or certainly join them in prayer. We would like to join you in prayer right now. So I invite you to pray with me. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for the encouragement that you have given Ralph and Bonnie. Thank you for blessing them with this property. Thank you for going before them and opening the doors um, to everything uh, at a moment when it felt like all was lost. Lord, give them the strength now to continue to walk as you have laid out the path. Um, Lord, I just pray as they're moving and as everything else kind of starts to fall into place, that they would persevere. We recognize that sometimes things aren't always easy, and uh, certainly there are no uh, strangers to that. But Lord, as this begins to kind of open up to them, um, may it be a home where people can find you um, and find freedom from their addictions. Father, this we ask in the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's exciting to hear updates on things. And um, just a reminder as the children come forward that uh, we're, the slide will show you who we're raising money for. I always butcher it when I try to say it. So you can read and uh, interpret it your own way. So at this time, if the kids will come forward. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes.
As we continue to worship this morning, if you're able, I invite you to stand as we sing, I am thine, O Lord.
I'll be reading James 3, 13 through 16. Who among you is wise and understanding? By his good conduct, he should show that his works are done in the gentleness that comes from wisdom. But if you have bitter envy and selfish ambition in your heart, don't boast and deny the truth. Such wisdom does not come down from above, but is earthly, unspiritual, and demonic. For where there is envy and selfish ambition, there is disorder and every evil practice. Lord, at this point of the service, we lift up Jeff to you. Lord, we thank you for the gifts and talents that you've given to him and his willingness to use them here at Pleasant View as well as in our community. Lord, we ask that you would just uh, give him the courage this morning to speak with boldness the words that you laid upon his heart. These things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm again preaching from our reading plan. So if you found yourself reading this week and going, man, can we get through?